if you want to talk about pure processing power and pure um, network audio channel count, for instance, the 510 and the 610 are uh, essentially the same. Uh, the 610 uh, and the 510 have the same number of network audio channels that you can carry with the QLAN channels. Um, in fact, you can actually expand the number of AEC channels and QLAN channels that the 610 can process if you apply the software feature license that's, uh, that's part of it. Um, there's also, if you pair the 610 with any of our IO devices, the QIO series of devices, uh, you get all the analog inputs and outputs that you could need. So if you need audio redundancy on your cores, then you would choose the 510. Uh, so it, whether that's in core mode or peripheral mode, uh, you would choose that associated IO card and achieve your audio IO redundancy. Um, if you are instead looking for processor IO or you're looking for network IO, no, pardon me, processing redundancy or networking redundancy, then the reality is any of the cores can handle that. All of them have dual QLAN NICs and auxiliary ports on the back. The other core reason why you would choose <laughs> 510 right now, did you see what I did ah. there, is for clock domain usage with Dante. So if this is a need of yours, you probably already know what that is. I'm not gonna take a ton of take a ton of time explaining what this is, but effectively, if, if isolating that clock uh, on a Dante network is important, then you would choose the 510 because the 610 cannot do this at this time. Uh, it's also worth noting that there is a physical size difference between the two. Uh, if you're going into a new install and you are able to spec the, the rack that's going in there, then this isn't really an issue. But you know, if you're retrofitting a system that's already got a 510 in there and you're thinking about replacing it with a 610, just be aware that the, there is a, a size difference. The, the 510 is a 2RU unit and the 610 is a 1RU unit, so it is, is smaller, but it is deeper. It's about 24 inches deep, whereas the 510 was only about 15 inches deep.